yeah, sorry about that. Um, as you know, day to day life does stop me from doing videos. I have to go get washing bar. <laughs> so this will be a part two. Um, yeah. Um, so I hope everyone's well. I know that this is something we never thought we'd ever experience. Like in history, we learn about wars and we learn about things that have happened. But knowing our great grandchildren will be doing this in their history. Brexit as well. This is a virus that can kill anyone just like that. Um, I'm out of breath because I did run down the stairs. <laughs> um, some of you aren't taking it seriously. And you may think it's funny. But imagine having a mum that has really, really severe asthma. And during the lockdown, she gets rushed to hospital because she can't breathe. My mum got rushed to hospital about a month ago. Probably less than that. Which was horrible because the coronavirus was going on. It still is. She didn't have the coronavirus. It was to do with her chest. But as, as people who know me, you know that throughout high school and primary school, I always had... To stay home to take care of my parents or I had to I had to babysit my brother and sister because my mum had to be taken to hospital I had to make sure everyone was okay because my mum does go to hospital a lot because she does have severe asthma my parents have never been so serious about anything on the news but when they started seeing this they took it proper seriously and none of us were but I wish I took it more seriously I, I do work for the coronavirus helpline but obviously I can't go to work because I'm off for 12 weeks because I've been self-isolated for 12 weeks. The good thing about being home is that I spent more time with my family. I miss my boyfriend like crazy, haven't seen him in three to four weeks which is weird because I did stay here for like two weeks before this happened. Um, but I had to choose family or my job. And I chose my family because my family mean more to me than anything. Yeah, so as I told you, I do have ADHD. I have mental health issues. I have asthma, so I shouldn't be working anyway. Um, I changed a lot since high school. I don't sing as much, even though I did sing about a week ago. I just, my boyfriend's like always hearing me saying that I used to sing and all that. And so he wants to hear me and I thought, no, I can't sing. So I just sang to my Alexa and I just sat, oh yes, I've got an Alexa. Who doesn't? <laughs> um, and two of my favourite songs to sing is I Wouldn't Mind But He Is We and Back to December by Taylor Swift and I sang those and he said they're absolutely amazing and said he wants to marry me now <laughs> which I thought was so sweet the best thing about my relationship is I've been through a series, not series of different relationships but I've been through about four serious relationships and all of them ended me getting hurt Either they cheated or they lied to me or they just decided that I wasn't good enough. Or... People think because I'm an open person it makes me a bad person. I had an ex that used to tell me that being open means you're weak. And that's why they wouldn't tell me their feelings because they thought I was weak. That didn't work out. Um, as much as I go on about my relationships, I don't regret any of them. I, I've, been, I've experienced different types of pain and I don't regret any of it. Because it made me get through two years of CAMS, Children's and Mental Health, Children and Adolescents Mental Health Service, and about a month or two months of adult therapy because I couldn't really do it anymore because it was hard to get to. Um, mental health is a serious matter and if people don't take it seriously there's a lot of lives that will be lost mental health is one of the things I wish I didn't have 
but it's who makes me who I am. It's what makes me so nervous and so protective and so, oh, uh, and so chatty. <laughs> but if I wasn't chatty, no one would realise who I was. Like, if you know me, you'll know me as Katie, the girl who couldn't stop talking, or Katie, the girl with blonde hair, or Katie, something about going on about mental health. Sorry, I thought I had my cat. <laughs> we have five cats. <laughs> um, yeah, um, with the coronavirus, I, I want people to take it more seriously. Because as soon as this lockdown's ended, I could start a family and I can move out of my house with my, I can move with, in with my partner. I can have things that I really want and other people can go and see their families. And we can go back to life. We can, we can go town and shop in Primark, which I can't wait to do. <laughs> I can go and see my goddaughter and my best friend and I don't need to worry about washing my hands. I do that anyway, but still. As much as I love my room, and I love my king size bed and I love tidying, keeping it tidy. I want I want my own place. I want to be able to decorate my own house, my own living room, my own bathroom. Things to be my way. I love tidiness and colour, as you can tell. My room is not one colour, it's got rainbow jewels and multicoloured blanket and bedding and a donut cushion. I haven't changed basically. Yeah, so as I was telling you about my great nan, she used to feed blackbirds. Um, outside her window all the time so I got a blackbird tattoo and it's on a tree because obviously I wanted it on something and there's a poppy because she was involved in the war and so is my great granddad Bob who is now dead who died before I was even born died when my dad was a boy which is he's like 42 now so it's quite a while ago and there's a rose because we had all had a red rose to drop into her grave I'm not gonna lie, at funeral it was difficult, especially for my first one when I nearly fell in with my great nan. Because obviously you got to say a few words and then you got sprinkled dust on them, the dirt on them. I don't know how religious stuff works. You got to sprinkle the dirt on them and then put a rose in it, and I was scared of heights. So obviously looking down, I was shaking because obviously my great nan was in there and it was so small, and I didn't know my great nan was that small. She wasn't that small when I last saw her. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it, it was a very difficult thing. And then obviously, if I stand up, <laughs> bear with me, like, I'm not skinny as I used to be, so. Um, but this tattoo here says, I'll be there for you. It's obviously the Friends theme song, because I'm obsessed with Friends. I have my own blanket got my cushion, I've got a candle, basically I'll, I'll go on for ages, I love, absolutely love Friends, the TV show. <laughs> my dad makes a joke and says Friends TV show is the only friends I have. I don't, I, I have a truly best friend called Stephanie, which is that beautiful girl here, and that's my beautiful good daughter. I have an amazing boyfriend, an amazing family, amazing siblings, amazing cat but I don't know where she is right now I have a lot of amazing things going on if I find you how beautiful how gorgeous my goddaughter is right now she is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life I don't know if you this is a live photo of her recently my parents got her a five pound trampoline on second hand. My little puppy Jay means so much to me. She is absolutely incredible and even though I'm not her mum, I still cry my eyes out when she first took her steps. Don't mind me, I look horrific. Don't mind my hair. <laughs> But my good daughter means so fucking much to me and it hurts. It really hurts, I can't see her. It really does, really does hurt that I can't see her. I miss her like crazy. That's just a picture of me and my boyfriend. <laughs> I 
was like ages ago. <laughs> Not that you need to see all the pictures and that. But yeah, um, yeah, so my fur tie is my favourite. It's a unicorn. And I will show you. <laughs> That's my fur tie. It's a unicorn, obviously. And <laughs> you would have guessed it's my favourite. <laughs> I'll see you on part three.